Hi, this is Moses from Omega Engineering, and today I will be demonstrating how to hook up a thermocouple to our DP20 universal process meter. First thing you're going to want to do is open it up and make sure it's properly configured to take in thermocouple input. Pop the face out, and you're going to open it up, you're going to see something like this. According to the manual, you're going to want to make sure that one of the jumpers are connected to pins 4 and 5. And over on this side, you want it running across pin E. All right, and then you want to slide it back into the case. When you hear that pop, that means it's secured. And you can then supply with power using the pin connectors here in the back. Put the pin connectors for the thermocouple input and then connect the thermocouple to it. According again to the manual, you're going to want it across pins 2 and 4. The red is always negative, so you're going to want that on 4, while the yellow for this K-type thermocouple will go into 2. After that's hooked up, you're ready to pretty much use it. You want to make sure it's reading ambient temperature first. As you can see here, we're going to be using our CL1000 as our heat source. And um, yeah, just go ahead and insert the thermocouple. I have the CL1000 set to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we just gotta wait until the DP20 hits that mark. So as you can see here, it's hit our mark. The CL1000 was set to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and that's what it's reading here. And that's how you hook up a thermocouple to our DP20 universal process meter. If you have any other questions, feel free to call or chat us at omega.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.